Good evening. She says she was afraid for her life. The woman who is accusing three Toronto police officers of sexually assaulting her faced them in court today, giving graphic details of her version of what happened in a hotel room after a night of partying two and a half years ago. It's not under dispute whether or not she had sex with him. What is under dispute is whether or not she gave her consent. And I have to warn you, there is graphic details in this story. The parking enforcement officer testified she felt powerless to stop the alleged assault by the three officers that night, saying, I was completely unable to move. I was trying to move my legs and arms, and I couldn't. She had met the three officers, Leslie Nizhnik, Joshua Cabero, and Samir Kara, at a bar earlier that night for a rookie party. The complainant said she was invited by Samir Kara and decided to go despite a girlfriend backing out, saying, I thought I would be safe because of who I was with. Security video shows her at the CC lounge with a dozen officers. The group then went to Pravda for more drinks. Kara, who had been kissing her, left and went to a hotel room at the Weston Harbour Castle. She says he was drunk and had been throwing up. The complainant says she told Nizhnik, you're responsible for me now, thinking he would make sure she got home safe. The party then moved to the brass rail before she got in a cab with Nizhnik and Cabero. At this point, she had had eight drinks and was feeling unwell. The plan was to go to the room, wake up Kara, and go out to another bar. This is security video of them arriving at the hotel after midnight. What happens next in the room is under dispute. The woman testified her memory is spotty and she blacked out several times. What she does remember, she says, is trying to wake Kara up. Then she testified she was on her back. Nisnik was forcing her to have oral sex and she was penetrated from behind by someone she couldn't see. At one point, she says, she remembers Kara telling Cabero to stop, but then says she has a memory of having sex again, this time with Kara, and here's the others laughing. Hotel video shows her leaving about three hours after arriving. She says the three were asleep when she left. After getting in a cab, she says she woke up in her bathroom at home, face down, vomiting. And when she was able to get up, she says, I could see myself in the mirror. There was dried ejaculate in my hair. It hit me all at once what had happened and that I could be in a lot of danger. They were police officers. It would make it a lot easier to cover up. They carry firearms. There was no way to report it. I would have to go and tell their colleagues, their friends. At that point, I felt they would kill me if it got out. The woman says she told a supervisor almost a week later when she went back to work and started hyperventilating. That's when the allegations were reported. The Crown ended testimony by asking her, did you consent? No, she answered through tears. Now, one other thing the complainant testified about today was she said that after the assault was over, she claimed she overheard the three officers discussing whether or not they were going to call a hooker that Nisnik had apparently set up, allegedly, for $200. Now, court was adjourned early after her testimony. The defense asked the judge for more time. They said they needed it to prepare their cross-examination. They say that her testimony changed. Court will resume at 11.30 here tomorrow morning.